In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to buy and sell stocks in Canada using Wealthsimple. All you're gonna need is a phone and an internet connection. So I think Wealthsimple is a pretty legit app. I've been using it since 2020 and haven't had any issues. Plus, Drake's an investor. So luckily for you guys, Wealthsimple is a no fee investment account, which means you can invest money in Canadian dollars for free, which is amazing. Now they do have paid plans, which I'll get into later on. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go on the app store, type in Wealthsimple and download the app. Everything that you'll need is gonna be linked in the description below as well. Once you download the app, you're gonna be shown this screen right over here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna click sign up. The sign up is pretty basic. You're gonna put in your email, your password. This is gonna ask you some more personal questions like where do you live, your SIN number, etc. Once you put that in, that's probably like a maybe two minute process you'll be able to access the app. So when you sign up, make sure you guys use my referral code. You get $25 once you deposit money into the account, which is pretty cool. Now, once you're logged in, you'll see this dashboard right over here. And this dashboard basically breaks down at the top is your investments. So you'll see the one month change, three month change, six month change, one year change, and all time change. And as you can see, I started investing 2019 of December. So I've been on this app for a while. You can take my word for it. It is a good app. Underneath that, you have your holdings right over here. So this will show you all the stocks and EFTs you have, how many shares, etc. You can sort by total value, today's price, total gain, etc. Now, scrolling down, we have the account. So there's multiple accounts you can open with Wealthsimple. As you can see, there's a non-registered FHSA account, um, even RSP and TFSA. The one that I use is TFSA. That's the one I personally like to use. I'll leave a couple links in the description of what might work best for you, but you can open any of these accounts. The process is pretty simple. You just click open account and then you're ready to deposit money, which I'll be getting into shortly. So then you have your watch list down here. So it's basically where you can select stocks and keep them on your dashboard just to keep an eye on them. And then at the bottom of the app, you have a bunch of offers and some things you can check out. Now that we've covered the dashboard, let me show you how to add money into the account. What you're going to want to do is click on these two arrows over here, and then you're going to go to deposit. And now you can add one-time funds or you can do direct deposits. So let's say every week you want to deposit like $50 into your account. You can have that set up on autopilot, which is great. So for most of you guys, we'll just do a one-time deposit and then just click an account you want to deposit it to. So for me, it's a TFSA and click next. Then you can add your bank information or what I find really convenient is you can just literally send an e-transfer. So let's say we select e-transfer. So you can get up to $3,000 in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna load up $100 into the account real quick. You're gonna have your direct deposit or your e-transfer information inputted. Then you're gonna click submit request. So basically they're gonna send you an email to request the e-transfer. You're gonna click accept, go onto your account, send the money. So for me, it probably took about three minutes. As you can see, I got the $100 in the account. So that's how you load the account. It's pretty straightforward. If you choose the direct deposit information, you can get $3,000 almost instantly, which is even faster. Now it's time to actually get into stock. So click on this little search button right over here. Then there's a search bar at the top where you can search for any stocks that you want. They also have news at the very top. And then they have the most active stocks like Amazon, Tesla, Apple, as well as the top gainers that they've seen, as well as the top losers. Now there's also active EFTs and the list goes on. So what I would do is go to most active stocks and maybe look at a stock that you want to buy or we can just go search for a stock. So the stock I'm going to buy is Enbridge. So you can either pick from the list down here or search for your own stock. So I'm going to go Enbridge. As you can see, the stock name is ENB on the TSX, which is a Toronto Stock Exchange. So I'm going to click on this. And as you can see, the price right now is $47.51. I am recording this on a Sunday, so the market is closed. Normally the market opens from Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. if I remember correctly. And this is the information you can see about the stock from Friday. It opened relatively high-ish, like at $47.64, and then dipped around 1.25 p.m. to 47.19, and then went back up to 47.52-ish before the day closed. So that was just a one day, but you can also see different time ranges like one week, three months, and even five years of the stock performance. Now. I'd use probably like Yahoo Finance to really delve into the stock information, but this is decent information to have right in front of you. You also have basic information underneath the stock as well, like the 52 week high price, which was $54.84, the 52 week low price, which is $42.75, the market cap, which is $100.99 billion, as well as the yield, which is 7.47%. So Enbridge is a dividend stock, which is a type of stock that pays you to hold the share. So if I buy one stock of Enbridge, 
they'll give me about 7.47% the stock paid out quarterly which is pretty good so when you scroll down you can set up reincurring investments if you want to which means you can schedule the app to buy this stock every week every day every month etc then you have any relevant news down here and then you can also create price alerts as well it can go by price percentage change of increase or decrease volatility etc for example if i wanted to say okay if the price of enbridge is like 45 dollars let me know so they'll ping me with the notification and let me know it's 45 dollars and then i can choose if i want to purchase or sell at that time underneath that we have activity so every time i've tried to buy and sell this stock the categories and finally the information on the stock which is a quick little tidbit about what the company is about which is always nice to have you can also click the star icon to add it to your watch list so now that we covered that let's go and actually buy the stock so you click buy so at the very top, you can choose what kind of order type you want. I'll click on this little option over here where it says limit. And now I'm going to introduce you to the four types of orders you can process on Wealthsimple. So a market buy will basically put in an order for whatever the current price is and buy it. It could change. Let's say you want to buy this for $47.52. But as soon as the order is placed, it goes up to $48. It will buy it for you at $48. Now, I don't really recommend market buys because of the volatility of the price that can happen. So the next one is limit, which is what I like to do. You can add a specific price at what you want to buy the stock at. For example, if I only want to buy the stock at $47.20, it'll only process the order once the price has reached that, which is my preferred way of buying. Next up, we have stop limit order, which is basically you set a stop price where you want the stock to be. Let's say you want the stock to be at $46, then a limit order will be executed. I don't really use this too much. I'd normally just stick to limit, which is the easiest for me, but there's that option as well. And then you have reoccurring, which is what we discussed before. You can buy the stock at reoccurring intervals. So I'm going to go for limit and I'm going to place an order for $47.48. And then just enter in the amount of shares you want. So let's say I want to buy two shares. So as you can see, my limit price is $47.48 and I'm going for two shares. So the total of the order will be $94.96. So that means once the price comes to $47.98, I'm going to buy two shares. At the bottom, you have the account you want to get the funding from. And you also have the balances. So now we're going to click review. So at the top, you have the current price of the share. Then you have the order type, the accounts coming from, duration, your limit price that you set. For mine, it's $47.48. The quantity that you entered, which is two in my case, and the total amount. So the total cost is $94.96. So now at the very bottom, you can see make this order good until canceled, which means if you turn this on, you can keep this order active for 90 days. After 90 days, it will cancel. But this is a very clutch feature because I've used it in instances like where Shopify, I wanted to buy it at let's say 10 shares for like $40 or whatever I wanted at the time and kept it open. And then eventually when the price hit $40, it'll, it'll buy 10 stocks, which is really clutch. So that's kind of like my investing on autopilot, but I'm going to turn that off and then click Q order. And as you can see, it says order sent, let me buy two shares of Enbridge. Total cost is $94.96. Now I'm going to click done. Now when you go back to the home page, and click on your investing account for me it's a tfsa you'll see at the very top there's one pending order so you can see what it is one pending order and then i can also choose to cancel it if i want to and that's how you buy stocks it's pretty simple you can do it in a couple minutes and it's really an easy way to get your money invested into the stock market now let me tell you about the pricing buying and selling stocks in canadian dollars is free so well simple does offer a paid subscription for usd accounts you can still invest in USD currency with a free Canadian account, but the problem is, let's say you buy a stock in USD, it'll convert your Canadian funds, and once you sell it, it'll convert the Canadian funds back from USD to Canadian, which is kind of the annoying part. It's not necessary to have this subscription, but if you are looking to invest a lot in USD stocks, I'd recommend having this. Like for example, my subscription is only $10 a month. Honestly, it's not too big of a deal for what you get with this app. If you're just looking to get started, Canadian is all you need really and it's free now let's get into selling stock so it's a pretty simple process where you're going to go to is your holdings and this will show you all the stocks you have available then choose the stock you want to sell let's say I want to do BMO for example I'm going to click sell and then obviously choose what you want to do market limit or stop limit I recommend limit then you're going to choose how many shares you want to sell for this instance let's say I want to sell one share and then the price, you can choose the price. So the current selling price of the stock looks to be $125.89. I could choose to go lower or higher. Obviously, you want to get the most money you can when you're selling. So I'm going to do 126 
for the stock because it could go up to that within the day or so it's a couple cent difference then once you choose the price you're going to click review and now it's going to give you an order summary basically so the current price is 125.87 and it's a limit sell coming from the tsa during market hours so when you place these buy and sell orders they'll only be good for the day so once the trading day ends it will cancel the order unless you choose the 90 day option and then you have your limit price of 126, one share, and the estimated value is $126. No fees will be taken out of the trades, which is amazing. So anything you make from this is basically profit for you. So you can choose to keep this open for 90 days. I'm just gonna queue the order as is. And as you can see, it's done. Now, if you do want to cancel, you can go to the homepage, then go to your investing account. So for me, it's TFSA. I can see the two pending orders, and then I'm gonna click cancel. So as you can see, there's no more pending orders anymore and I've canceled the both buy and sell. You'll always get an order confirmation via email when the order is fulfilled or canceled, stuff like that, which is pretty cool. So basically that was about it on how to buy and sell stocks. Don't forget when you sign up, make sure you use my code to get $25 off. It's right here and in the description below. So that's basically it for the video. That's how you buy and sell stocks. And let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Come to me, baby. Come to me.